welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. I appreciate you. We're going to take a look at a movie request that was made by Michael O. Thank you so much for making this movie request. I appreciate you. You wanted me to watch Death Becomes Her from 1992. It, the, the cover looked gory. The poster, I looked at it, it looks gory. But you said I should watch it, that I'll enjoy this one. Trusting you, my patrons always know if they ask me to watch a horror movie, I like to have the heads up to prepare myself for nausea and whatever might come. And they've been pretty, pretty good with letting me know. So I want to also say thank you. Thank you for being a patron and thank you for making this request. If you're new to this channel and you'd like to make a film reaction request, please head over to Patreon. The details are in the description part of this channel and the platinum tier gets you a film reaction request every month in addition to many other benefits. All the reactions, all the tiers, I beg your pardon, all the tiers have a reaction depending on the tier that you choose that um, organizes how many reactions you get a month. I'm for all, all, um, all tiers, however, will get animation, any animation that I do. And all tiers will also get my readings for Harry Potter. So at least you get that, you know that right off the bat. All right. Death Becomes Her, first time watching. <laughs> I watched it from uh Taxi! Natalie, Ashton, talk about waking the dead. I gotta get a drink. It's just awful. What do I see? What do I see? I see me. Yes, it's me. Me, me. Oh my God, are people be walking up away mid performance? Oh my God. I see. Stop putting this produced by. Let me see what is she's doing. Yes, I hear Miss Ashton. Classy, I like to compare to whom? Oh. <laughs> Mad Hill! Oh. Do they know each other? They know each other. Oh. Mad, I'd like you to meet Dr. Ernest Menville. Well, mm. Ernest is quite a fan. Well, that, I've that read all about dance you. dance number, boy, oh boy. Mm. That, uh, I can't I mean, believe I'm meeting he you. He never told me he had such a Madeline Ashton thing. Well, we're both oh, huge well, fans. Oh, well, I'm sure he doesn't have a you. thing. Writing thing. Oh, well, uh, I'm writing. still trying. Oh, Helen, don't be modest. She's a brilliant writer, Mrs. Ashton. Miss. Yes, <laughs> oh, miss. Tell me, doctor. I'm starting to need you. <clears throat> As in plastic surgery. So... But she was flirting. She was flirting. Crescent drawn from the medial canthus to the left. Me a needle tip coterie. Quickly, please. Oh, my God. Oh, for this heaven's sakes, perfect. Helen, it was a dinner. She wants you because you're mine. I've oh lost God. men to her before. She just turns on that flash and that glitter and they're gone. Then why did you bring him That's to her show? I wanted you to meet her before we got married because... I just had to see if you could pass the Madeline Ashton test. I don't know what I'd do. He's already you failed. Know how silly you're sounding. He has already failed. He was bleeding. Someone was bleeding in his hand and he no noticed. Absolutely no interest in Madeline Ashton. She went into a depression and gained so much weight. Is it a shot? 
Can you see what happened? They're banging on her door. You say Canada will be used against you in a court of law. You have to So, what about you, Helen? Like to t talk about with the group? I would like to talk about Madeline Ashton. Ah! Stop! Stop it! Is this where we are, Helen? Six months of therapy. You're not even one pound lighter, and we are still talking about Madeline Ashton? Do you think I enjoy talking about Madeline Ashton? Do you Ashton? think I enjoy it, huh? For you to have a life. Oh, for any of us to have a life, you have to completely eliminate. You're it. right. Let her finish this sentence. Eliminate the thought from your mind. Not a... <laughs> she didn't let her finish her, her, her sentence. And then she said, well, like, you're absolutely right. They're not talking... Another seven years. First seven institutionalized. Another seven. Yes, I have a... only Thursday, Tom is supposed Never to say. mind. I think I need you to say it every morning. It's so sweet of you to say. What is well, this? Is uh, in her those are your tickets mm. for Helen. Forever Young? I like that title. <laughs> well, she got really Oh, uh, clever she little witch. Released. She sent seating assignment. No, madam. So where did he sleep? Is this an angel I see before me? <sighs> Dr. Manfoy, you're so cute. Not you, Rose. The woman has probably given him, you know, to drinking and to alcoholism. Yes, sir. Is that, is it? It's oh, in the bath. It's. That is it up yet? Claire. Rose! Oh, it's you. Fine, dear. Thank you. Like a rock. <sighs> You're dressed. Special occasion. Work. Cool. Dr. Ming, thank God. Just calm down. Calm? I am calm. Everyone is calm here. He was making love to his new fiance, 18 years old, from Cuba. He's got this expression of happiness on his face. It's completely inappropriate. Thank you, Miss Franklin. We'll see if we can give him a little character. <laughs> a little depth. You can't give him any character or depth. People have to recognize him. Three o'clock with Anna. Yes, I know. You may go down. Good afternoon, Miss Ashton. How are you? So good to see you. Listen, I've got a really important party tonight. I'm sorry, but the plasma separation is a very traumatic process to the body. Our policy clearly prohibits more than one in a six-month period. So? It's been nearly that long already. Miss Ashton, you had one three weeks ago. Three weeks. <laughs> I could do your makeup myself. Makeup is pointless. I could pay you extra. Something on a personal basis. You know what I mean? How about that? Money is no object. It means nothing to me. <clears throat> oh, oh, Mr. Chagall! I don't want to look at you, Emma. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Well, I suppose I should apologize. Oh, no, no, no. I am very... We are restricted by the, the laws of nature. What? <laughs> the eyes switching. I wonder, Miss Ashton, if perhaps you have ever heard of... Uh... No. No, of course you haven't. Well, very few have. Here is her address. She accepts callers day. She's a very, very select group, you understand? Sure. <laughs> After you fix your eye. So. Uh... <laughs> Weirdo. 
Could you just not breathe? What did you do, hire extras? Dr. Menville? Yes. Ernest Menville? Yes. Hi, I'm Vivian Adams. Hi. Uh, have we met? Long ago. I never had a chance to thank you for the spectacular job you did with my Aunt Esther. It's so sweet of you to say that. Can I ask you what your secret is? Spray paint. You see? And practically grind the stuff in. So the woman is shocked by what she just store, said. I think to myself, hey, what about? Excuse me. <laughs> she didn't really want to know. Oh my god. Oh, where is Helen? This party was like Helen is a published a book and everything. So she's out of the institution seven years. I want to see what. What a joke. She's not even here. Oh, looks as though she's lost a few pounds. Oh my God. We're leaving. Nonsense. Let's go talk to her. Yeah. You know. I want you to know that you could call me any time you want. Day or not. Oh. Matt? Oh, she's sorry. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Huh? Look at her. Don't believe it, Helen. Look at you. You have a waist. Oh, you haven't changed. Oh, so the opening of an fired her. So how's it been? Ah, heaven. You know, I often thought to myself, I don't deserve this because it came at your expense, and that thought made me feel terrible. Listen, that was a long time ago. You didn't steal him. He went to you. It wasn't you. It was him. Oh. I want you to know something. <laughs> oh, putting that lipstick stain on your face like you did. 50. 50? You've got to be kidding. She said, I never blamed you. <laughs> Trying to make her seem inconsequential, that it was never about you, that you were not the issue. It was him, <laughs> but it was really her. Oh. You used to hate parties. Oh, well, that was when I was old. You should see me now. I know about the kind of work you're doing. Yeah, like a mortuary mortician. I thought you were a plastic surgeon. She married a brilliant surgeon. Oh. I have never blamed you for leaving me. Oh. From Newark, for God's sakes. <laughs> so. I will never forget. Now you know, girl. Oh. Oh my second. God, you're not alone. Of course I am. I'm completely oh, alone. alone. You feel cheap, Madeline. I forgot. She's here to. She's here to fix that. Who is she? That's what I'm trying who to tell you. Who is the little a, piece of me? She's a friend of 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 the guy who was here to fix. Oh, for Christ's sake! At least lie quickly. I am trying to. I am sick of this shit. You know that? I am doing you a favor here. Me a favor. Gave you yeah, you gave, I gave. Big deal. You should go find someone your own age, Madeline. Oh my god. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh my god. She's <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Madeline, I need to speak to Madeline at once. Madeline, I need to speak to Madeline at once. What are we doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see the 
altar of oh my god she wants to kill her oh my god oh good evening miss von rubin's expecting you Ashton. she is they know her name already how do they know her name is this like a witch or some, some kind of vampire thingy you never know look at the way this man Wait is here, dressed please. Like someone from Mills and Booms. Mills and Booms, this fantasy novel, they had so many parts. You never knew. And the men always had long hair on the covers. And the women were always in bustiers. Like they dressed like that movie. That music video. I want to be with you everywhere. Follow me, please. Look at the marble grounds. Ooh. But she looks really good. Look at her chest and every... Make some room for my friend, for Christ's sake. I wonder. Keep your ass handy. Is it the man? The man that was walking in it. Girl, what are you wearing? May I say that I've always thought yours Wow. to be one of the most beautiful faces. I just arrived in town. I followed a spring. We are creatures of the spring, you and I. Of the uh -huh. spring. Uh, I'm not really quite sure why I came. You're scared as hell. Of yourself. Oh. Of the body you thought you once knew. She's a vampire. They'll take her blood now. That's why she isn't. Who is it? She's not here. Oh, thank God. What are you doing? <laughs> Ask me to leave this house immediately. You just got here. I know. I know, but it just took me a minute, a glimpse, and I was right back where I started. Sexual being earnest. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't the sort of girl that could say the word sexual without huh? blushing. Do you have lipstick on your teeth? Sensual. offers us the taste of youth and vitality well it is the natural law no oh, screw the natural law <laughs> what are they looking at well i told you she's a vampire probably blood In this world a potion a potion She's a witch. Come on, don't try to flatter me. 38. Oh, 28. Three? 23. I am 71 years old. It stops the aging process dead in its tracks. Drink that potion and you'll never grow even one day older. She said how much? The sordid topic of coin. Well, for me, how much? Well, thank you very much. I think I should be going. Sit! What? Hold out your hand. Ah! What are you, nuts? Check, okay? You may continue your career for 10 years, 10 years of perfect, unchanged beauty. You have to disappear from public view forever. You can retire. I want to be alone. <gasps> wow. Who said that? Who's the person that said I want to be alone? Is it the whole thing? Won't you take it little by little? Now, now a warning? You and your body are going to be together a long time. Be good to it. 
siempre viva. She hasn't seen the change yet. Wait, is it happening? Oh, it's happening. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm a girl. Ernest. Mm. Oh, we gotta stop him. Oh, Ernest, don't be angry with me. Right. She's already destroyed your career. <laughs> now she's it's breaking your heart. Her lovers. You know about that? Oh, it's a nose. I've been so weak for so long. Oh, by God, that is exactly what I am going to do. The first thing tomorrow morning, I am going to go downtown and I am going to obtain a divorce from Madeline Ashton. Ernest. Well, the first thing Monday morning, Ernest. then. Ernest. At the very least, Tuesday. Ernest. You have no talent for poverty. Wait, what's that thing there? See, see, see that thing there on her, on her, on her top. Can you see it there? Isn't that the thing that... Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, that's what she... Oh. 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 Now listen to me, Ernest. I've thought this thing through carefully and I know it's the only way. Tonight, while she's asleep, you'll sneak downstairs quietly, go to the study, and take one of each kind of wine glass from the shelf. Tomorrow, I'll call Madeline to say goodbye. I'll try to get her to invite me to... The Narconal will be on the glass. Then you and I work together quickly. First, we finish dinner. Then we load her in the car, take her to the top of Mulholland Drive, call the police, and report that we've seen a drunk woman swerving dangerously close to the edge. Just a little bit too much to drink. We drop the car into gear. Wedge her foot down on the accelerator. Oh, wow. That was terrible. want to kill her. Do you know now what happened to Helen? Helen went to that same woman. Because I saw that thing on Helen's dress. They'll check her blood alcohol. Point four oh. She had it coming. And think nothing more of it. Madeline is dead, and we're mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. We can't go through with this, Helen. Exactly. It's the only way, Murder. Ernest. After she's gone, you can start your life all over again. I can start my life all over again. <sighs> we'll be so happy. It would be self-defense. Uh, wow. Wow. See it. It's it. See. She doesn't even, she doesn't care to know about anyone or anything. She just came home, looked at herself in the mirror, and walked in. Oh my god. I wish Helen had seen her. If Helen sees her and see how young she they will both know. You know what I mean? Or they might have thought is the but she's already seen she's already seen madeline helen has already seen madeline recently at her book signing so she knows that madeline is not young so to see her 24 hours later he i can't wait is she gonna visit that boy we have to talk why don't you have another drink and go to bed? You'd like that, wouldn't you, Madeline? You'd like to see me drink myself into an early grave. That is not going to happen. My God, that is not going to happen. You are not going to take my money! I love her dress combo. Real job. Anything you had left, you owed me a long time ago. Your face owed me. Don't wait up. Don't wait up. Is she going back to that she... boy? Is she going back to the boy? Is that why he said don't wait up? Too. Tacky little tramp who every week becomes less and less. Ooh, oh, you're a tragic, boozy, flaccid clown. Longer. Oh yeah, you'll take it. You'll take everything I have to give. You always have. You're not even a man anymore, and I need a man, a real man, not some drunken, broken down, flaccid undertaker who is just as dead below the waist as his clients are. <laughs> hey, I might have more fun with one of your clients. At least I'd know I'd be getting something stiff in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to take it forever, Madeline? Did you? Oh, 
a plan. You go to jail. This wasn't the plan. Hell no. <gasps> Help! Help me! Help me! Hurry up, you wimp! You've killed her, baby. You've killed her. You've killed her, you've killed her, you've killed her. Broke her into many pieces. Isn't it crazy? Someone who just became beautiful now has died. Look at how her body is. Call her Ellen, quickly. It's me, Ernest Menville. I did it. I just had this feeling inside of me that I couldn't contain. And we're free, Helen. But I'm afraid I'm going to burn in hell because her neck is broken and there's no pulse and she's dead. Exactly which part of the plan were you unclear on? Because we went over it three times, Ernest. No, Helen, you don't understand. Ernest, what's happened over it three times? Hey, Helen, you don't understand. What's happened behind it, you? It just happened. I mean, it was an accident. It's, it's better than an accident. At least it's going to look like an accident. Have you called the police? Hey, no, I called hey, you first thing. Ernest, you... Poor. You're right. Of course I'm right. Well? I'm thinking. Okay, I've got it. Okay. You tell them you were on the phone with me when you heard a terrible scream. Because it'll just confirm exactly what you told them. Got it. One thing, though. It's very difficult to determine time of death within a few hours. It's not really an exact science. Ernest. It's not an exact... Ernest. Ernest! You pushed me down the stairs. Push her! Don't come near me or follow! Oh, my God. I just have to make a telephone call. You're in the shit house now, pal. Ernest. There is something really wrong with your neck, too. I would say so. I would freaking well say so. Oh what happened? So she can't die. What's wrong with me? How? I don't know. Just do it. I wouldn't know where to begin, Madeline. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> oh, my God. What the what the guy? Guy? She's at death's door! door. <laughs> Doctor, she's at death's door. <laughs> Anything broken? I don't think so. I mean, it would hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, I should think so, yeah. Maybe my wrist, I don't know, but my neck feels sort of sore, too. Well, let's have a little look at you here. Which wrist is it? Right. Um, okay. This? Mm, no. Mm -mm. Are you telling me it doesn't hurt when I, I do I this? It doesn't hurt. I told you that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, what's this uh, What's this you're talking about with your neck? Well, what's the problem with your neck? Well, it hurts when I kind of turn it, you know? Oh, shock. What about shock? Could Maybe be. you should... It could be shock. Check could for be. shock. Could be shock. <laughs> <laughs> I want to attack if his instrument was working. <laughs> he said to school. What? What is it? What's the matter? That's uh. Okie dokie. I I think that just about uh, covers it. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, kids. Uh, we there's uh, kind of uh, it's fractured in three places. Without an X-ray, but the, the, the <laughs> bone protrusion through the skin—that's that, not a good sign. And <laughs> your 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 heart stopped beating. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Exactly, exactly what I think. She's dead. She's she's dead. I'm gonna get a second opinion. What? <laughs> Doctor. Not right. Don't be ridiculous. This is incredible. You're right. You're, You're in violation of every natural law that I know. <laughs> Can you think if you're dead? Can you? No, 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 no,
Oh my god. Oh my god. He went into he had a heart attack. So that medication he was putting under his tongue. Huh? <laughs> you don't understand. I mean she wasn't she, she didn't this is very hard to explain. I know it is. How oh, can anyone she's explain? dead. Where did you put I my wife? She's dead. Don't worry about that now. Just huh? give yourself some time to go. For more <laughs> She'll be furious! <laughs> The doctor had a heart attack. He was he was there. <laughs> oh my god. He had a heart attack. Oh. It's me, darling. Oh. Nobody heard me. Nobody did anything. And then I... Ernest, I'm in the morgue. Why am I? They think I'm dead. Yes. Ernest. Yes. They think you're dead, but you're not dead. In the... Yes, so why did it have to happen to me? Do you know what you are? I am? Of course you are. We're being told that we belong together. It's a miracle! Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, really? At 50, you definitely, definitely have visited that woman, the vampire woman, which. Oh my god. He's painting her body. It's because of the uh, she's she's decaying. You understand? She's decaying and she's turning pale. Just not the so right he's... balance. How's it going, Aaron? Well, I just don't want to rush things, Madeline. Who keeps calling? Huh? Who is that? <sighs> I can't have these interruptions. It's probably Helen that's calling to know what happened. Oh my gosh. I asked you to sit still. Mm, what's the matter? Well, I've got someone turpentine now. Well, are we almost done yet? The highlights of your eyes are completely unbalanced. You want people to stare? Oh! Where is she? <laughs> what are you doing here? I forgot all about her. What's that on your hands? Blood? Fine, funny. Mm. Oh, come on, Ernest. Cough her up! Shh, shh. Resting. She's not resting. She's dead, Ernest. Just away from this now. Not after you putting us both in jeopardy like this. And she was a bad actress. Oh, oh see. Anger. Yet she's upstairs. Oh, resting oh, peacefully. Oh, fine. oh, if she's not dead, you tell her to come down here. On the what? Are you very angry? It's a lie. Madeline? Helen, I think you should leave right away. I, it's a lie. I see a very, very what bad situation it? developing here. She took her gun. She took her gun. She's going to kill you. She's going. Oh my god! What? You plotter, co conspirator? She's dead! It was brutal! It was stupid! The police, Madeline! The police! Let me enjoy the moment. What about the neighbors? You don't think they're that gunshot? <laughs> neighbors! There's no way 
She also has. I gotta think. I gotta think. One of us has to stay with you. Oh. <laughs> right, you're not drunk. Rashid and I drunk. She's going to come out of that water. She has to because she has the pain. That's Sir, the secret of her own oh, youth. No. I've seen it. What if the police should receive an anonymous phone call about you and mm. find me on the floor? You're going to be very popular in prison. Prison? Yeah. I'll get the shovel, dear. <laughs> she's going to come out. There is no way she's going to. <laughs> Don't you just love it? I just want to sit there. What? I'm not gonna be your cop. Oh. by myself. Start out so shitty, and I then told you. Oh, and then oh, 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 oh. Changes. What are you holding her for? She's dead as well. Is it because she has the other one has a hole in her stomach? They have the same thing. Why are you running? Look at me. I'm soaking wet. And your eyes. There seems to be tired. something wrong with your eyes. I have a hole in my stomach. Yes. That's yes. another miracle. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> I saw it. I saw it with the other red dress. October 26, 1985, way before you. What are you two talking about? Wait a second. Free weights, exercise. I don't think this is a miracle at all. You're a fraud. Some advice. I would stay out of a bathing suit for a while. <laughs> at least two piece. <laughs> or if I. Oh, you're breaking her neck again. Oh my gosh. Damn, I just fixed this. Oh On guard! <laughs> Bitch! Girls! Girls! Let's just clip me, I always win! Ha! Ha! Ah! Oh, I don't care how I played, I won! Have your I've raised a lot more than an offer on my day! You're fat soul! <laughs> I love Drake. Oh my God. You hurt me on purpose. That is not true. Liar. Mm. You were the one who attacked me first. Remember? Me? Yeah. Do you think I was blind? Do you think I was deaf? I couldn't hear what you and your snotty little friends are saying about me behind my back. What's this? You thing? thought I was cheap. Oh, please. You're insane. Oh, then how come you never once invited me to one of those parties at your parents' house? Because we didn't think you'd feel comfortable. You're avoiding the issue. Oh, you really? told my boyfriends to hurt me on purpose. I did not. You admit it. And you admit you thought I was cheap. Okay. Oh. The whole. I thought you were cheap. I hurt you on purpose. I'm sorry, too. Bro, oh, your eyes have changed. Thing downstairs. We've got it out of our systems now. Completely gone. Yeah, oh, thank God. Really? It was so yeah. awful hating you and envying really? you at the same time. You envied me? Oh, I envied you. You did not. I did too. You, you yes, did? I, I can't. I can't. I, I, I <laughs> Excuse me. What? Excuse me. No, we, we can't need leave because you. I promised hell that you would fix her. Oh, and Maddie needs work too. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Sure. Ern. On one condition. Yeah. When I'm done, I go. You don't ask about me. You don't even think about me ever again. Oh, oh it's amazing. Oh. Not a blemish, not a pore. Oh, say what you will about Ernest, but... Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I think it's still wet. Who can Ernest fix this? What if it fades? What if it chips? What if it rains? Will he come back for touch-ups? Even if he does, he's not going to live forever. Oh, that's not good. What are we going to do? He'll have to take the potion. Yeah. We'll, we'll take him to Liesel's. Uh -huh. She'll talk him into it. Uh -huh. He's not going to go to Liesel's. You heard him. He's made up his mind about leaving. Mm, that's true. I have to respect that. 
You might like some breakfast. He's not going Wondering to drink. why I didn't pack I this thing stop. five years ago. And that meant everything to me. Yes, it's all very noble to keep you I knew you. Because I know you would not drink it because he wants to start fresh and he knows alcohol was a thing that. At the cost of everything else. Do you know? No. An idiot. I've lived up to my promise. Till death do us part. <laughs> well, you girls are dead. <laughs> Something else. He's just you're giving up drinking because it got you into this mess. Don't let him fall. Oh, 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 oh. They took him to her, to the woman with the beads. Do you think the woman with the beads is that guy that was switching his eyes? Maybe he found a way to do it. You know the guy she met in the hospital that Madeline met in the hospital, the one who had the eye. Because when she came into this, because we haven't seen that guy since then. I hope you don't mind that Harry and Dick. What occasion? I'm throwing a party upstairs. <laughs> I throw one every spring for my clients. What do you want with me? To you, I would like to give. Show me your hand. Oh! Mm. Wait. What are you doing? But remember, she gave them all a choice. She didn't force them to take it, right? She gave them all a choice. And they could say, they could have said no. They didn't, they didn't want it. Age spots gone, everything. Well, thank you. This is what you've always done. Mm. You are like Don Quixote, tilting at nature's wind. It is the completion of your life's work. Whoa. You gave other people youth and wasted your own. And you'll be able to work again forever. He you wouldn't. owe yourself another chance. He wouldn't do it. Drink. The it's the right come. choice. Live forever. Then what? What? Then what happens? What? I don't want to live forever. Oh. I mean, it sounds good, but what am I going to do? What if something happens to me? What if I get maimed? What if I get shot? What if somebody pushes me down? I don't think this is right. This is not a dream, this is a nightmare. You people all have to be stopped. Dick, Tom, Harry. Dick, Tom, Harry. <laughs> Tom, Dick, and Harry. Dick, Tom, Harry. Tom, Dick, and Harry. It's a lot of his age. I knew he wouldn't do it. I knew he wouldn't do it. He's always... Although he's always been panicky, scared, and always jittery. When I just felt it. When she would say, drink, drink, drink. That he would be like resistant. I didn't think for that reason or because he would have felt, oh, will I, what will I do if I live forever? But I, I felt he would be resistant. Oh, so she didn't really die. <laughs> I took Okay, yeah, I was looking for you. I thought maybe she tank us away. Who's that? Just trying to have some fun, man. Ah! <laughs> Elvis. Elvis. Elvis is the one. God, he still looks like hell. I don't... Let's go. Oh, everybody gather around. Come close. Lisa will be with us in a very few seconds. Uh, gentlemen, please seal the room.
you still have the potion? Do you still have it? Drink it! Drink it or you'll die! Drink it! Drink it! Drink it! You have to! You're on your own. Isn't that the actor? Remember that actor of old movies? And yes. the guy by the no. pole, he reminds no. me no. of no. the swag. No. Oh, oh, Doors. You know the guy, the lead singer of that mo movie, Doors. I've watched it. And the musician. Look at this. What? I'm peeling. Oh, oh, I'm peeling God. already. Oh, oh me God. too. Who's going to fix this? We're in trouble. Uh -huh. Ernest is gone. Uh, we can't go back to Liesel's. She specifically told us to take care of our bodies. And look at us. Uh, We're dead. Uh, oh, this is so embarrassing. No. You know what this is? This is just simply a, a question of uh, maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is upkeep. We just have to be very, very careful with ourselves. We have to take care of each other. Mm -hmm. I'll paint your ass, you paint mine. <laughs> <laughs> Painting each other's asses. <laughs> Damn. 37 years later. Now, Dr. Ernest Menville always felt that life begins at 50. Because it wasn't until 50 that he met his lovely wife, Claire, oh. began to spread his message of hope to his adopted children. Dr. Menville pursued with vigor a variety of pursuits, not just to attain some personal ambition, oh. but to enhance the world. The Menville Center for the Study of Women. Mm. And of course, Ernest's AA chapter will carry on long after his death. <laughs> and uh, we've all heard his tall tales about the living dead in Beverly Hills. <laughs> oh, his tall tales. I so must have dropped apart. it somewhere. You didn't drop it anywhere. Put it in your bag. Oh, teacher, this benefactor, this man learned the secret of eternal life in the hearts of his friends. And the secret of eternal youth, right here, in the lives of his children and his grandchildren, is one man who will indeed live forever. Through his children, through his blah family. blah blah blah. A legacy. Let me see oh, what kind of a mess you've know. made of yourself, Nick. Oh my God! You're gonna need a little bondo on the chin, babe. I gotta get to the hardware store. Oh, now come on, baby. Just where did you see it last? If I knew, I'd, I'd know where it was. The entire can of spray paint. Get off it! Then it broke off. That's because you cracked your knuckles all the time. Ah! <gasps> oh my God. Do you remember where you parked the car? This was so funny. This was so funny and so unbelievable. I can't. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, Michael. This is the funny thing. What? What? Oh, I love stories like this. But let me tell you the moral of this. Other than vanity, Vanity will ruin anything that has to do with life. If you are so vain, so conceited, and you decide to focus on things that will die, it's 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 just poking fun at people. It's not fun, but it's telling you that no matter how much you try, you can't live forever. So your emphasis, the earlier you get, or you awaken to 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 that knowledge that you will not live forever, and you should focus on more important things like your relationships, human being, family, friends, 
the better for you. You see the priest, he said something. He said that Ernest started living his life at 50. So he's telling you as long as you're alive, it's not too late to begin again, to begin with a new mindset that embraces life, people other than the vain things, wealth, beauty, you know, things that you think will make your life even more important, that they will all fade away. This skin will melt away. So it's up to you to decide, listen, I know I'm going to grow old. Everybody's going to grow old. Enjoy your life and share with people that you love. Don't be focused on trying to spend all your money, trying to look, you know, it's not going, it's, it's it, at the end of the day, a selfish life is forgotten even faster than anything else. If you live for yourself, nobody talks about you. We, we talk about all these great men, all these people, because they've influenced our world and our lives for the better. And your family members, you remember your grandparents because they did something for you. They were part of your lives. Learn to do things that will make you live forever, that will leave a legacy of kindness and love, as opposed to being so self vanities just to yourself and your needs and your own wants i love this it's so funny i thought it was going to be like a scary thing we all have important choices to make and the earlier we make them the better for us the earlier we make the important choices the right choice better for us yeah on to the next thank you michael Bye.